Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our first 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Jeff Smith. His presenters, Hal Semenek. Jeff Smith attended Bellflower High School where he was third in the CIF in 1965. Following high school, he wrestled for Cerritos College. While at Cerritos, he was a state champion and a junior college All-American with a 56-4 record. He then attended Michigan State University where he had a record of 50-2, including being a two-time Middle East champion, a two-time Big Ten champion, which he earned Outstanding Wrestler and received the Most Falls Award. Jeff also placed third at the NC2A Championships in 1968 and second in 1969. And let's not forget, in open division, Jeff was a 1971 AAU and USWF Greco Roman champion. He also won the gold medal at the 1971 Pan American Games, and in 1972, he was a USWF freestyle champion. Jeff coached at Haslett High School, where they were Class C state champions. At a Royal, he coached their first conference championship and for Artesia High School, he had four conference championships. Jeff's high school coaching record was 111 wins, eight losses, and two ties. In 1979, Jeff became the head wrestling coach at Cerritos College, where he coached for 20 years. His record was 212 wins, 32 losses, and two ties. While at Cerritos College, Jeff coached 18 community college state champions and 64 community college All-Americans. Since the year 2000, Jeff has been the Cerritos College Athletic Director and Wrestling Advisor. He's the California Community College Wrestling Coaches President, along with being a member of the National Wrestling Coaches Association for 20 years. Ladies and, ge ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2008 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Jeff Smith. Starting my time there? Okay. Well, it's been a good ride. I, uh, I started Bellflower High School, which was not a wrestling power any means, way, shape. Um, matter of fact, my most offensive takedown was a whizzer. And uh, I could whizzer just about everybody around. Then I figured out that you had to shoot every once in a while, too, later on. But um, I had a lot of fun with this. I met a man named Hal Sumanek. When I was in high school, started going over to Cerritos College, working out, and as I called Hal, he was a great motivator, the great uh, communicator. Um, he communicated to me uh, about wrestling. He directed me, kept me out of trouble. When I started wrestling in high school, it was suggested by a football coach, go out for wrestling. <laughs> they started giving me medals with just a couple of rules thrown in for what I was getting in trouble for. <laughs> so, so it turned out to be pretty good. I, uh, I enjoyed it. The second guy that I ever wrestled, I threw about four rolls up into the stands. I learned what intimidation was, and I used it the rest of my career. I would get in someone's face, and that's how I wrestled. Um, Hal Simonek, as I said, was my director going into this. He could communicate wrestling. I had a great career. I got to go to the Pan Am Games. I got to wrestle on the U.S. team. Um, I did quite a bit of things. It was all due to the direction of some good coaching. Hal Semenek, Doug Blueball, Grady Penninger. I was not a deprived child. I can't tell you a sad story about how deprived I was or anything. My parents uh, took very well, good care of me. Um, my dad would work all day drive me to San Francisco, get me into a tournament, and then drive back afterwards. I had great support from my parents, so I can't tell you a deprived story there. It was, it was a good run. As a coach, as I started changing from wrestler to coach, it started changing off, and uh, you start learning wrestling when you start coaching. You go out there and you fight with someone and you wrestle with them. You know, you think you know the wrestling, then you have to communicate it. How someone I could communicate it, I had to butt heads with them. And that's what I had to do. It was a great experience. I've had six desks in my neck replaced, and I'd do it all again. <laughs> so I'm not the brightest guy around. That's all right. 
I, I got to do and meet an awful lot of awful good friends, um, coaches in here that I've competed against. Uh, Coach Bowden, one of his 80 losses. I was at Artesia High School. I'm one of those. Uh, but it was close. Um, we had we had good times. You could go out, you could wrestle someone, and you'd just have a good time. Go out and uh, actually have a beer afterwards with the coach, and it was fun. And I still enjoy that. As the athletic director, as my career has progressed, I had a great time at Cerritos College. I thought I was at Disneyland when I first got there. I had fun every day. I was wrestling with the guys. If I didn't come out of the room totally in sweat. I didn't think I did my job. Well, as my body started paying for it, uh, changed, things changed. David Gare used to walk by the pool all the time and watch me swim because I couldn't run anymore. But I was still out there and I was still in the room and David will remember that. And uh, those things were all a part of what I did. I never wanted anybody to be able to outwork me and I put in my time and I worked as hard as I could. I told my guys, if you put in your hours, you do your job, winning and losing will take care of its place. And it always has. For every state champion I've had, I've had at least five guys that were successful in life. And that's the real important thing. The people that I touched in their education and in their lives. And I'm just so thrilled that I got to do this and got to lead so many athletes. Even, we won the state in 1995. I was real excited about it. We won it by a pretty good margin. In 2002, uh, Greg Gascon, who had replaced me, won the state by half a point. And everybody said, you look more excited about that than you did when your team won the state. I was, I was the athletic director then, starting into it. And I said, you know what? It was more exciting, it was close, it was exciting. And I was just thrilled to be a part of it. And I was lucky enough to be a part of five different state championships at Cerritos College, from the dual meet state championships to the three team championships. And my buzzer's going off. So to finish up, I'm just thrilled to be a part of this. I'm glad that I got to go through wrestling and I'd do it all again, neck, body and all. And as you probably notice, I limp a little bit too. But I'll keep on limping. I'm retiring in a week, and I'm heading for Mexico. Once again, Mr. Jeff Smith.